Stop reliving your struggle. Stop reliving your struggle. Now, I know you guys are wondering, what do I mean when I say stop reliving your struggle? As a adult male or as a adult female, you know what you need to do to get to the next level in life. You know what you need to stop doing to get to the next level in life. If you are continuing to make the same mistakes that are keeping you in the same position you are in or is hindering you from becoming successful and achieving your dreams and your goals or getting to a place where you want to be in life, that means you are continuing to live your struggle. See, the difference between successful people and non-successful people is this. Successful people tell their self, I'm only going to live my struggle one time. I'm not going to continue to wake up day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year, and continuing to relive my struggle. Listen. Example, at this very moment in your life, if your finances are bad, ask yourself, what do you need to stop doing so your finances can be on the up and up? You know what you need to do. You might be spending too much money on clothes, too much money on shoes, too much money on cars, too much money on on, on rims. Jewelry, whatever it is, food, eating out, partying, drugs, alcohol, whatever it is, you got to ask yourself, is it worth me continuing to relive my struggle? I remember, man, I will bring every new year in broke. I would end the year with no money. And I will start the new year with no money. And I did this for year after year. It wasn't until I told myself, I no longer want to live like that. I no longer want to be a grown man and have to look at my son, my daughter, my family, and I have no money. There comes a time when you got to tell yourself, listen, I got to stop the foolishness because a lot of people are okay with reliving that struggle. If you if you that type of person, that's cool. But this talk here, we're going to live in reality. And I'm here to tell you this. You got to stop it now or you're going to continue to relive your struggle to the day you die. I got two examples. One person graduated high school, get out of high school, got a job, started a career, opened a business and worked very hard until the age of 50. The other person, on the other hand, graduated high school, didn't get a job, ran the streets in and out of jail, tried to be a drug dealer right to the age of 50. Now, what I need you guys to identify is. All of that, all of those days, all of that time, it doesn't go away. Listen, hear me out. The person who graduated high school, got a job, did what they had to do, does not have to relive their struggle, right? Relive their struggle because now they can retire. Nine times out of ten, their house is paid for, if not almost paid for. They got money in the bank. They're okay. They don't have to struggle to the day they die. They don't have to work their ass off to the day they die. That person made their mind up and said, I'm not going to continue to relive my struggle. I'm tired of being broke. So guess what? I know, I know 
what I did to keep me broke. Now I know what I have to do to keep me from going broke. You just got to pick. It's that simple. And then the other person who bullshitted their whole life, right? Their whole life. They struggled their whole life. Now when they get to the age of 50, they got to relive that struggle. That struggle didn't go anywhere. It might have felt like it went somewhere, but that struggle was still there. Still no job. Still no bank account. Still no house. Still no credit. Still no large lump sum of money that's going to take care of you. Now you got to relive your struggle again. I'm just here to wake you up and here to tell you, listen, stop reliving your struggle. Work on you. Work on the things that you need to work on so you can get to the next level in life. It's that simple. If you do not stop, relax, read, study, change your ways, change your life, change the environments that you are putting yourself in, life is going to be very hard for you. You don't have to struggle your whole life, but I am here to tell you we all have to struggle for a certain amount of time before we don't have to struggle. That's just the way it is. You're just not going to wake up and snap your fingers and there's no more struggle. You're just not going to wake up and snap your fingers and there is no more mistakes. This is how life is. But if you're strong enough physically and mentally to Live your struggle one time. Later in life, it'll get greater. We all are caught up into too much entertainment. When we see people blow up overnight and we think they blew up overnight, but they've been doing it for a long time. But in our mind, we think it's watching them blow up overnight. That's how our life is supposed to be. And it's not correct. Live your struggle one time. Or live your struggle for the rest of your life. You can go ahead and struggle for two, three, five years and be done. And after that, after that five years, your credit is good. Your money's up. You want to up and up. You a different person. You have changed your ways. You know what you need to do in life to be successful. Or. You can continue to live an unrighteous life. You can continue to live a foolish life and continue to wake up every day and make the same mistakes that you've been making. It's that simple. Your mistakes, your way of thinking is what's causing you to relive your struggle. So here we are going into a new year. 2022 you have the chance and you have the opportunity to say this is the last year that i'm going to relive my struggle going forward in life let's come out of struggle let's come out of struggle let's work on saving more money let's work on being the most healthiest we can be let's work on our attitude let's work on our vocabulary let's work on the environments we put ourselves in. Let's work on the type of people that we deal with on a daily basis. This is what needs to be done. I just know I woke up and I said, you know what? I no longer want to live my struggle. So I started to work on my credit. I started to read. I started to study. I started to have the headaches. I started to be upset because when you changing, this is everything you got to go through. I went through the ups. I went through the downs. I went through the mistakes and I'm still going through them. But guess what? I'm coming out of the struggle life. I'm coming out of the struggle life. Now it's time for that prosperity life. Because now as a grown man, I know what I need to do to continue to be successful. And as a grown man, I know if I don't do those things, it's going to put me back to the struggle life. It's going to make me relive my struggle. And I no longer want to do that. So you guys, listen. Taking account of what, of what you just heard and what I just said. 
and ask yourself at this very moment in your life, are you living your struggle? And if you are, ask yourself, what do you need to do to stop reliving your struggle? I love y'all. Y'all stay positive. Peace.